Yo, welcome back to more Psycho Pass episode one of season three. So I saw Psycho Pass the movie, didn't get to see Sinners of the System because there's no way for me to like buy to stream anywhere online, fortunately. So uh, that really sucks, um, especially because, you know, if y'all have told me it's a great lead in into season three, but apparently watching the movie is still kind of a decent lead in to it. But I don't know, I guess I'll find out. Hopefully the series itself can fill in the gaps that are going to be there, you know, explaining how things are um now but yeah i guess you know we'll just see so not too much to say there just you know having not seen it i don't know what i'm not knowing or or do know what uh but yeah the movie was pretty good it was cool to see akana meet up again with kongami um to have their interactions in the midst of this like revolution going on and sibu integrating itself into another society we saw its plan unfold throughout the movie big brain sibu always just 10 steps ahead, but Akana still being the one to, she had a, quite a victory at the end, um, negotiating something uh, democratic with Sybil, because um, again, she seems she's the only one that can do that, and even Kogami at the end was like, god damn, that woman, so yeah, that was pretty good, man, you know, Akana just being so consistent, and it paying off in just little, in little ways, but again, the, the system remains, it has its plans, it continues to want to expand, to become stronger. We did learn about the state of the rest of the world, which is apparently in a similar state as we saw in the Psycho Pass movie when we left Japan. But truly, Japan is the most orderly place. Um, so you got two extremes. You got complete like war and anarchy elsewhere. And then you have just the tightest, strictest order here. So yeah, pretty, pretty crazy. Definitely puts the world into perspective, just learning that. Yeah, pretty nuts. So, yeah, we'll just see where it goes from here. How our inspectors and enforcers navigate whatever problems arise this season and what it will lead to, if anything, when it comes to um, Sybil, the society itself. But again, the thing about Psychopaths um, that I'm hoping for is you know that good characterization. Um, that hopefully like explores um, some themes this season revolving the system itself. You know, you can use new characters as a vehicle for that. Also, these episodes I see are like 40 minutes long. There's eight of them. There's only eight in this season, um, I believe, from what I see on Amazon here. But uh, yeah, so it's like two episodes of pop. And, and even still, that's only like 16 episodes total um, from what I can gather. But, you know, we'll, we'll see how things go. So. Anyway, that's all I got to say going into this, so let's keep going. Beginning the episode in three, two, one. Twenty-one twenty November. Akane. Numerical value of the soul. Nuts. Ooh. Yeah, we we learned that. Pretty pretty nuts. But at what cost? We just see two extremes in the world. Hmm. Who are these people? The true crimes. Oh my. Whoa. Akana is locked up? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. What the fuck happened in Sinners of the System? Oh dear. God damn, I guess it was only a matter of time before Sybil did something. Let's enjoy this opening though. Cycle Pass 3. Oh. There's some cuts there, I like that. It's like glitching out. Ooh, I like this part. Hey. 
see some new folks, see Mika, we saw our, our enforcer buddy, some new people. I've seen a couple of these characters just in the, the banner I saw clicking onto this season. Can't wait to learn how they, who they are. Whoa, that looked nuts. Fighting himself, that reminds me of Kogami in season one's opening. Did we see Kogami there? That's hype. Huh. She kind of looks like Akana's friend from the first season, but that would make sense. You know, the dead friend. This song is tight. Nice. Laylaps calling. Laylapses. What is this, VR? The hell? Hmm, someone's not in their thing. Uh oh. Adele. Uh, whoa! I didn't know he was in there. Holy shit, well, Adele ain't seeing him again. That's sad. Why the fuck did that happen? I don't know. Hello, Tokyo Airport. Oh. You nerds. Hmm. Is that the one that just dropped all its fucking cargo? It just, yeah, it just crashed in the water. Oh, unless it's, so yeah, it's like a boat plane. Interesting. No, it did crash. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, yep. Was not supposed to happen. Artistic. Do you know about this? Are you taking a selfie with it? How are you now? Whoa, that looks nuts. Ooh, of X Inspector Akane? Whoa. Wait, are you replacing Akane? Dad. Man, they're putting blanks. Stop not telling me things. Whoa. Why does your dad look like that? I'll find the truth. Of what? Why your dad look like that? Okay. That was freaky. Oh. Arata. Yeah, these are our new inspectors. Oh my god. And there's our boy there. Okay. So Kay and Arata. <laughs> well, Arata is interesting. <laughs> I have those symptoms all the time. Wow. Our first step. Hello, Chief. Man, it's so weird Akane is locked up, although still not surprising. Oh. 
It makes me wonder what I kind of did. Hello, Mika. Like, what drove her to do that? That was enough to get locked up. Her hair's a bit longer. I wonder how... F it's a 2021. It's been some time. Hmm. Wow. Now Mika's training the newbies. Gosh. Wow. She was a hologram. Great. Hard ass Mika. Man. I guess if it's a possibility, better safe. Mentalist skills, what? Wait, she's leaving it to them now? Time to get in uniform. <laughs> oh, it's making me yawn. Oh, God. Yeah. An immigrant. Is that our boy named Mikhail? Didn't sound Japanese. So who are y'all? Did y'all get introduced in Sinners of, as well? I only recognize our red boy. Hmm. Hmm. Wait, is that Yayoi? Anyway, I was like, where is she? But I guess that's her with new hair too, maybe? Hope time to get to it. First job of the series. Cool. Arata. Yeah, Mikhail Ignatov. Tema? Kazumichi? No, not Yayoi. What the fuck happened to Yayoi? Oh, what happened? Alright, I'll roll with it then. Hmm. Sizing you up. What are these mentalist skills? I remember being told there was some kind of supernatural element to season 3, whatever that means. Hmm. Ah. This is what we do now to communicate. Oh boy. Why are these enforcers so mischievous? It's not my job. What? Oh, come on. 
That was supposed to be if they riot. You're gonna incite something. Dickheads. Wow. Of course this coefficient went up. Jesus. This is what the MWP is, this is what the SID has become. This is what y'all do now. Whoa. Oh, he did it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, cut that shit out. Pecking order. K is not playing. All right, back to Arata. It's the guy we saw fall out, right? He was really distressed over something. Huh. Huh? Smelling. <laughs> what are you doing? What is this? All right, let's let him do his thing. Whoa. Whoa. What the hell? Holy shit. You can do that? Ooh. Oh, that's what he was thinking. He's vocalizing his thoughts. There's the up, there's his device. No data. Wow. <laughs> Oop. Ooh, yep, that's how he died. Can we find the body? Yo. Wait. Yeah, he could still be alive. Oh no, he hit okay, he hit one of the boxes and died. Damn. Fuck. <laughs> My dude's sick now. I like this duo. I like these two. A mental trace. That's what that was. Never accidental. He thought, yeah, he already thought he was going to die. And he ran. Hmm. Gotta start somewhere. <laughs> yeah. But that thought's cool. Oichi. What? Why'd you pocket that? What was that? Yonehara. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's horrified. Just casually checks him. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know who I am? I actually don't.
Hmm. Yeah, maybe you don't do that, Arata. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. What well, was boss? He's possibly hi hiding something, so. Whoa. Die in accidents like before. Wait, did Yayoi die? Oh no. And our other guy, too, who joined in season two? Oh, fuck. Shit, man. What the fuck? What? And where's Ginoza? Did Ginoza die too? Uh... Is this... Round Robin. Congressman. This is the Illuminati. Join? What on earth? Huh. What? Targets for enforcement. Bifrost. What? On a thrilling game? Who the fuck are these people? What is Bifrost? Oh dear. Hmm. Damn, they can't even investigate more. Damn it, Mika. Drones. Ah. Can they, yeah, they can at least do that. Thank you, Mika. Cool. Thank you. Oh, she's still okay. Still chilling in here. Yes. Karanamori. <laughs> Ara. <laughs> Good job, Arata. Mm. Nice. Sounds fun. <laughs> Elite inspectors. <laughs> Arata's so... He's pretty dorky. Ah, yeah, they're pushing the limits. Wait, she's chief? Mika's chief? Mika's the chief? No wonder she was in a big fancy chair. She was in the office. Yeah, because Mika's kind of letting them. Oh, is Arata rich? Nerdy boy. Leave him alone. Oh my god. 
These enforcers suck. You guys gotta learn, dude. Relax. God. Come on, man. Not our boy. Stop picking on him. Hmm. <laughs> I wonder if his skills take a big mental toll on him. He could just be sleep deprived in general. Please wake up. Ah. Sunemori. Oh, I hope they go see her at some point. That, what was the incident? Yeah. Oh man, I hope, because I'm in the dark with our new inspectors, which is kind of cool, but yeah, I hope we learn and get to talk to Akane someday. Yeah, he was totally sleeping. <laughs> I think his skills take a toll on him, though. Huh. Damn. Three years rent. Oh, man. Oh, you're going to get something. Trust in Arata. I, I already trust him, dude. Oh, God, this poor guy. I mean, everyone kind of got fucked in this situation. <laughs> That's one way to get in. Give me my money. Bitch, you're under arrest. Whoa. Kick them out. That's a, quite a weapon you got. Really? You're going to fight the police? Idiots. It's been too long. Who are you talking to? What? What the hell? Arata is so interesting. Meanwhile, K is being all badass. Oh my god. And our forcer is just standing there. She's chilling. That was hard. <laughs> Good job. I guess he had it handled. There you go. Damn. Dude, these these guys are great. Oh my god. I'm glad they yeah, cuz they got really fucked with the being evicted and everything. God damn. I love these guys. All right, back to this. Oh.
Never know. And we don't know shit. Yet. You know, our enforcer here seems kind of a little too observant. I don't know. Wow. Bad luck. Yes, very. Yeah, it's a pretty good video. Ah, we did see them. Those nerds, yeah. Perfect timing. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, relax, buddy. Hmm. Okay. Seventh inspector. First inspector. What? What? Why are they called inspectors? Yes. He's the Bifrost folks? I don't know what I'm looking at, dude, but it looks cool. That is quite the diagram. It's like Soda Naraya's bounded fields. Yeah, they're very classical, they, and they seem to care. Dude, I love these guys. I, I can't say it enough. They're just, I'm immediately, like, liking them. I hope they meet Akane. Oh. What the fuck? Whoa. A scary sound in my right ear. Oh, why does he see that? We saw that with his dad in the car earlier. He didn't didn't have enough data. Okay, so he needs enough data for the trace to be effective. Right, that's right. The guy who walked away where he took a selfie and he was happy. That fucker. Hmm. Okay. Now they know you know. Because, yeah, that's him. You look like a doll. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to keep up with everything. Oh, man. So much. Okay, it's not ESP. Mentalist skill. Extreme empathy. That's what it is, huh? Wow. Anyone can do it with practice. Okay. Because that's a good question. Hmm, okay. 
interesting. It's just a super empathetic following logic and facts and Alright. Oh yeah, Adele. Hmm. Hollows. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Alright, that's enough. Asshole. Okay. Hmm. Huh. A civil war, huh? Did we see her in the movie? Probably not. Yeah. Nowhere to hide anything. Oh my god, are the hollows hiding something? Yeah, it's true. Yeah. One, the one he's smelling, that actually has a smell. Yeah. Wait. Those are artificial. There's gotta be something in there. Yeah, it's in the pot. Ooh. Better than a flower vase. Damn. There you go. That's the best you can promise. Justice. Let's go. Mm hmm. Dude, this guy. This guy gets it. Wow. Polybius Square. Numbers for letters. There you go. <laughs> dude's, a, dude's a genius, man. And his extreme empathy pays off. You can read into circumstances that he would use his wife's name as a password and how he'd do that through numerically. Yeah. So what is it?
Mortgages. Hmm. Oh, man. Yonehara. And yep, him too. We've seen him. A golden parachute. Yeah. Eugene. <laughs> Just rattle him. Let's go. There you go. Finally, this enforcer can shine. Awful defensive. Uh huh. Arata's hair looks insane. Like, how do you do that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm kind of liking... Our new enforcers. At least old man. A very strong reaction. Ah, not the main culprit. Pez? I want one of those. I want a psychopath Pez dispenser. Oh dear. <laughs> they all complained. Investigated. Data, yes. <laughs> Got some troublemaking inspectors. Miko's like, not again. Ah. There you go, now Mika knows. Mmm. Yeah, I'm, I suppose. Because we're detectives. Oh, I love it. I love it. She just thought of Akane. Ooh, yes. I wonder if it finally happened to Akane. I guess it would have for her to be imprisoned. All right, sure. Thanks, Mika. Compromise. Hmm. Hmm. Dude, what is Bifrost, dude? How'd you guys pop up in with Sybil running shit? Like CEO Illuminati people. Huh. 
I, what is this room? Holy shit. Probably very close. They're very good. Won't be able to move forward if you give it up now. The truth. The truth we're looking for. There you go. I love that. It's like the mental rope. I love that. Ooh. I'm going to find him. Oh. Mmm. Oh, I'm getting chills. Whoa, my mission to them. The unseen enemy. Yo, Akan is there. But she's in this room. We saw her locked up. Okay, I had to... I had to resync here because it auto-played the next episode. I want to listen to the ending. Yo, what a start, man. Oh, my God. Definitely a ton of gaps from Sinners of the System. That's tough, man, but it is what it is. I'm kind of getting a sense of what may have happened. God. Play by your own rule. Oh, man. Let's see, Kogami, I, you, we're seeing everyone. Hmm. Helpless, crying for the moon. God. Hey, now they're added to the lineup. Damn. Oh, post credit. Wait. You know? Whoa. You know? Remember you said that. Yo. Yo. Wow. Okay, I'm so... Because I'm so glad I went back to Restink so I could see that post credit scene. Because that's a big fucking deal. Ooh, I miss so much. Not watching Sinners of the System, man. That's crazy. Okay, but... It's all good. Because this is like... This is what I... How I have to do this. So let's... Take stock of what I can. Okay. So some time has passed. Clearly. Mika is now the chief. Akane. Well, it's kind of conflicting with what we saw at the end. It looked like she was like locked up. Like she was in the, uh, one of the facilities. The rehabilitation facilities. But we, we saw her on the laptop at the end. It could be that's just how her room looks or something. I don't know. But given the post credit scene. And apparently this deal that Mika has with Gino. Like Gino honoring the deal. And that uh. You know, Gino saying we might have to take action soon. You know, and she's like, I, I won't get in your way. Huh. I wonder what... Man, so, so much happened, dude. So much happened. But I'm glad Gino's okay, so maybe Yayoi is too. And our other boy from Season 2, who we didn't really get to know. But, you know, I remember he was part of it, and he, was a, he showed up in the movie. But yeah, dude, so yeah, Akane is like... 
kind of out of commission, but we see, we listening to her words, it gave me some chills, man. And just seeing Arata and, you know, um, K as well, they're both detectives. They're not just inspectors. They're detectives. And, um, so, and so I may be, okay, because again, with Sinners of the System, I may be missing more characterization for Mika. In fact, I surely am, because I know there's like three of them. I would consider like Mika an inspector versus Akane, who's a detective, and who are new to, are two new inspectors who are detectives. And you can tell Mika was kind of reminded of Akane there and try having to get after them. It was, it was cool. It was cute, but it's, um, it's great because we saw them genuinely help. Like the guys were like holding that guy hostage because you know he's getting evicted with the the failed uh, real estate thing and um you know he paid like what three he said three years rent yeah so they they're doing all that shit and then they de-escalated the situation they really took them in but you know they uh they put in a word for them and yeah <laughs> like they're generally trying to fix and solve shit and there's this idea like that Arata was talking about with his dad in the car about finding the truth which is like seems to be not just the truth of what's happening in like the murder case that's happened with the guy his name is escaping me right now but him um fellows you know is exposing um the high the higher ups but yeah it's like I wonder if like the truth they means like the truth of the system itself whether that's Sybil or Bifrost, what the fuck is Bifrost? It seems like it's just another faction of elites come together in their own like to like create like a, this power group that's came together. Not, I won't say in defiance of Sybil, but in their own interest, like acting outside of the Sybil system. Clearly, because they don't want to get caught, they're trying to not uh stay outside it. Clearly, they want you know power or to serve their own ends. But yeah, that's that's a very interesting thing that, that that group has popped up by now. Arata's mental trace is really, cause yeah, so it's not really like that's not really supernatural. I mean, the way it's presented visually, it's like really cool, and that we we visually see him like literally seeing events play out. I guess the idea like you can't interpret that too literally as like what exactly happened, but it's like enough for Arata to figure out what happened because he's using his extreme empathy to read circumstances to read all the uh the facts and just the evidence and put, a, put extremely put himself in the target's shoes to determine what happened which is a cool thing i like it i dig that yeah why not um, it, it's got to be exhausting though because i know i know like empathy fatigue is like a, a real thing you know but and it, it could be why he's tired so much because he is such an empath that it's because that, that shit is draining, dude. Uh, like, honestly, it's like. So, yeah, I mean, that would make sense. Why is he, you know, just so tired all the time? And he's right. He's like a sweet, like a sweet guy. He complimented Shion, which he loved. We know she loves the flattery. K, K's great. He's just like a badass. And he's, I love that he holds like the, the mental rope, like the rope for um, Arata, when he goes into his mental trace and he's like going in that zone, he's like there for him to make sure he's okay. I love that. I love that so much. Like a tr they're a true, they're a true team, man. Like I don't, I don't doubt the relationship between them at all. And just the way they're detectives, oh, they're so, they're already so likable, man. How they're, you know, reminiscent of Akane and that with her words at the end when people who seek truth and you know, justice come up, I, I entrust my mission to them. Like, the, the unseen... Did she say the unseen enemy? Yeah, it's so... I'm, I wonder, like... If that will ever become their thing. Like, if they find out what happened with Akane... And, like, more behind the scenes of, like, Sibu or Bifrost, whatever it is, that... Maybe they'll kind of take on that role. I mean, it's a very... It's a very big thing. It's bit of a burden. I kind of, like, he held out so long. But, yeah. But she she doesn't seem to be in a position to be actively doing anything, at least physically. I mean, she is an ex-inspector, like it just straight up said. She can't operate anymore. She isn't an inspector. She can't 
do it the way she's been doing it, which is... So, it's like... I guess it's up to these two. And hopefully, maybe they get in touch one day and... Whatever this leads to, but, you know, with the cases that the, the case that they're currently on and, you know, how things are unfolding, it's... They're doing good. They're doing pretty good. And that they already have this mission of seeking the truth is pretty, pretty great as well. In fact, um, they might already kind of know. I mean, just the fact that they have that mission, but I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see. But yeah, a lot of, a lot of things, man. Um, because I was like realizing certain things like people were missing or things were changed. And I was like, I was like, oh, fuck. it was, it was like kind of like distracting me. Like I, like I had to address it, but also like keep up with everything. So hopefully I, I retained enough. <laughs> I, I, I think I did. So, yeah. That was that was a good start, man. That was a good start. I'm really I'm really liking this, despite like being a bit out of the loop, on more than a few things. Um, I enjoyed that. When Narata does his mental trace, like sometimes, well, sometimes like it doesn't, he can't fully, it doesn't fully work because if there's not enough evidence or not enough. That he knows, then he j it just won't work, which is good. You know, it's it's good that that because like the whole basis of it, uh, it basis of it is that. So if it's lacking there, then he just can't do it. I I'm glad that's like a factor, and he can't just do it every time. You know, then that would be kind of bullshit. But what's interesting though is sometimes he sees this like beast head, like this evil like head of the beast on like people like close to him. Like, he's, we saw it on his dad before, and then we saw it there on K. I, I don't know. It could be... It could be a fear. Because he's going into a very, like, vulnerable state. Like, when he's, like, completely empathizing with the target, and he's trying to, like, put together everything right there. So, maybe he's just more sensitive to his own fear, or, like, uh, maybe a sense of paranoia. I, I don't know. It's, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe there's more to that, but it could just be representative of something just he's internally like dealing with while that's going on and he's just more susceptible to it when he's in that state. I don't know, He, but he wasn't doing that when he was in the car, so it just kind of happened. So yeah, yeah, maybe we'll probably learn more about that. But as far as everything else, you know, our new enforcers, it's so funny how like, Hinakawa is like our OG enforcer now. He's like the oldest enforcer we have now. Our season two red hair boy. Is he like Inoza is like somewhere else? Like seemingly like maybe having his own faction or just group with Akane, maybe? Because maybe she's not literally locked up there. Or maybe Gino is with Yayoi somewhere. I don't know. It's a, it's a good question, but yeah, I assume things will be moving soon and that'll become clear. Um, I will say, if any of you feel inclined to, like, tell me things or fill me in on gaps, I will ask that you not do so, because I do intend to watch Sinners of the System, and even though the results of a lot of the things in that I'm sure are being reflected here, of course, um, I, th I feel like watching it myself will still, like, just to make it worth it still, you know what I'm saying? Um... But you can feel free, like, if you if you feel it's really necessary, like, ask me first, and I can let you know, and then, you know, maybe you can tell me one or two things, but, yeah, I think as far as right now, I, I'm kind of grasping um, the picture here. I mean, the, on, the only things I just don't know is, like, what Bifrost exactly is. I mean, I can kind of guess what it is, like I already talked about, but, you know, like, you know, how it came about, or, like, what Akane exactly did, or, like, if she what she did to fall into that swamp like many inspectors have before that po possibly made her psychopaths finally, you know, rise up to that level or just did something that she couldn't recover from. Maybe a situation arose where she felt she had to do something outside of sticking to the Sybil for the- sticking to the Sybil system for the sake of justice and that's how that happened. You know, maybe Ginoza was able to get away, maybe Yayoyo was able to go with him. Um. Again, I don't really expect to see Kogami, although you never know. Um, because we didn't see really anything besides in like the opening and ending. It was kind of showing like everybody. But yeah. So yeah, I, I think I'm getting a grasp on it so far. But yeah, pretty pretty cool stuff. It's cool to see the detective work and this, you know, 
inspectors acting like detectives, like these new characters, like just throwing in these new characters, and I'm, I already feel endeared to them. I already like them quite a bit. That's really good. Um, our enforcers are a bit, you know, besides Hinakawa, and besides the woman who's like very, she seems a bit more calculating and observant. Don't really know too much what to make of her, but, you know, for our other two guys, you know, just very rough, very just like... You know, let me, let me do it like this, because, you know, Kay has to, like, wrangle them in. And they seem to, they're seeming to, like, respect him a little bit more. You know, showing, showing him the pecking order. And they even got to use, use him at the end, you know, talking to the one cowardly guy who's going through his psych care. But they could at least tell that he wasn't the main one. So they're probably going to look into, um, other guy. Although they did say they would drop the whole murder part of the case to... Um, to Mika, so, I don't know. We see at the very end how determined Narata is to, like, like, find, to find the killer. Just their own personal sense of justice and detectives and this grander truth that they seem to be seeking. It's good. This is, is a good, this is a damn good start, man. I'm pretty impressed just starting off, so. Um, but yeah, if you, if you have any thoughts, feel free to share any. Um, otherwise, I want to thank you for watching, and if you're seeing this on YouTube and you want early access to my next a um, couple reactions to the season. They're already available immediately right now on Patreon because I do early access. So if you want to check that out for five bucks, it's all you. Um, I do early access for this series and everything else that I do pretty much as, as well as gaming. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.